kids. I thought maybe it might be fun for us to have a video too because we're doing it a lot with the adults. So I hope you're having a good week. What is this week? We've got something very special happening at the end. I'm sure that you've talked a lot about it with your parents already. And we've been talking about it with church. On Friday, what are we doing? It's Good Friday, isn't it? But I don't understand. Why is it called Good Friday? It seems like such a sad day shouldn't be called good. What happens on Good Friday? That's the day that Jesus died, isn't it? It's the day that we remember that he gave his life for us. So why is it good? It's good because if he hadn't done that, then we would not have a way that we could be called his friend, that we could be in heaven with him someday. We would not be one of his children. And so we call it Good Friday. And we also can call it Good Friday because we know that's not the end of the story. Because on Sunday, what is it that we remember? We remember Easter, don't we? And Easter is the day when Jesus was raised from the dead. He came back to life. Now, I, I want to show you something. I think you all know what these are. M&Ms. They are my favorite. You can tell because it's already opened. It's already half gone. Well, these M&Ms can be used um, to, to rem help us remember Easter and the importance of Easter. And so I found this online, and so I want to share it with you. When we take the M&Ms out, there's something on each one of them. Um, can you think what it is? You might not have M&Ms in your house right now. It's stamped with something. It's stamped with an M. Every one of these has an M stamped on it. And we're going to use that today to remember Easter. Now, if you think of the M and you turn it different ways, you can get different things. So normally it's an M, but if we flip it upside down, it's a, it would be a W, right? Or if we turn it on its side, we could have a three. Or if we go the other way around, then what does it become? Oh, an E. Yes. So M&Ms are very useful. I'm going to use some pictures because it's more fun if we have pictures. And I think you'll recognize we have an M&M guy here, don't we? So this poem is called The Sweet Truth of Easter. All right, here we go. These lollies tell a story. The best news you'll ever hear. It's about Jesus dying on the cross so that we could be brought near. So hold them. And turn them, and you will see the M become a W, an E, and then a 3. The E, oh, we got to find an E. I'm looking at it backwards, too. Okay, do you see the E? So the E stands for Easter, God's everlasting love and his eternal plan. It reminds us of the cross and the way that God rescued sinful man. Okay, we've got another M&M, but we don't want an E, we want a 3. Do you see the 3? So the 3 represents the 3 days that Jesus spent in the grave. By his death, his children he did save. Oh, we've got the pretty M&M coming this time. The pretty green one and this one is just going to look at the M. The M reminds us of the mercy the Messiah showed as he died in our place and the miracle of the resurrection so we can see him face to face. Put that one down and we got one more. Do you see a W now? This is our blue guy turned upside down. The W reminds us that he alone is worthy of our worship and praise and calls us to be his witnesses around the world all of our days. It's a good poem, isn't it? It's a good one to help you remember Easter and the important things about Easter, but it's also good because you could use this poem to talk to someone else about Easter. So let's see if we remember all of the things and what they stood for. What was first? First was an E. What did E stand for? Easter. That's right. Because Easter is what we're talking about this week. Okay, what about the three? What was the three? The three reminds us of the three days that Jesus was in the grave. Good. 
What about the M? Hmm, the M. The M reminded us of God's mercy because he sent Jesus to die in our place. And it also reminds us of the miracle of the resurrection because Jesus did not stay dead, did he? And then we had one more letter. What was that letter? W. And W was for worship. And it's also for witness. We want to tell others about Jesus and what he has done for us. I think we should sing a song as well. I don't know if you know this song or not. It's called, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? And it does because we find it in the Bible. John chapter 14, verse 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Now, is that me talking? Because I'm saying I? No, I'm not talking about myself. That's Jesus talking. He's talking to us in the Bible. And so this song has some motions that go with it to help us remember the words. So when you learn this song, you're also learning a Bible verse. Way is going to be done with a W. Make a W with your hand. T for truth. L for life. So I am the way, the truth, and the life. All right, maybe you already know the song. Maybe this is new to you, but here we go. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. Without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no living. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. Have a great week, guys.